Hello, this is a part of C programming video series on securitytube.net and in this video I will be talking more about arrays, how, how to define arrays and how exactly arrays are stored and how to program with arrays. What are arrays? Arrays are data structures to store related data un under single variable name with an index. Let's take one example first and let's try to correlate every term in this definition with that example. So while storing my Twitter buddies, rather than storing a s everybody in a separate variable like buddy Amit, buddy Sam and so on, I will go and define an array of my Twitter buddies like Twitter buddy 20. So it's, uh, it's an array of size 20. So it's a data structure to store related data. Now in this data structure, my related data is names. So I, I, I will have to store names in that array only. I cannot store their ages or I, I cannot store their date of birth in the same array unless I use some structures and etc. which is, mm -hmm, which is uh, not a scope of this video. But in arrays, you have to store data with same type. So it can be integer, it can be character array, it can be float array, but the data has to be of same type. Second important thing, this data is indexed and in C language the index starts from zero. So the first element in that array will have index of zero, second element will have index of one and so on till the last element. So in this example, in I have defined array of size 20. So my index will start from 0 and it will end at 19. So the last element of array is the size of array minus 1 index. So if, if I have to access the last element of my Twitter buddy array, I will have to index, I, I, will, I will have to access the index, the size of Twitter buddy minus 1 that is Twitter buddy of 19th will be the last element. Let's see array declaration first and then straight away go to programming examples. So how to declare array int numbers 6. So in this int is a data type. So every element in this array should have data type as integer. The name of the array is number. So variable name is numbers and 6 is the index. So or rather than index I should call it size. So while array declaration, you are supposed to write the data type of which elements the array will contain and the size of the array and the name to refer to this array. So int number six will define an array of size six, which name will be numbers and the elements of this array will be of type integer. Let's start with some examples. Unless you start coding in C, you won't be understanding good concepts. So I am just opening one file array.c. Uh, in this file only I have included standard input output stdio.h and I am now going to code in main. So let's go ahead and declare one array say int numbers of size 20. This is the complete array declaration int numbers 20. So the name of the array is numbers, so numbers will contain integer type of variables of size 20. So numbers will contain 20 integers index from 0 to 19. Let's uh, go ahead and declare one more array, but in this example, I want to declare array and simultaneously I wish to initialize that array as well. How to do that? Say int val, values array of say size 5 and simultaneously if I have to initialize the array. I have to write int val of phi equal to curly braces and the values comma separated values. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and say 5. That's it. This is my array and semicolon to complete my expression. So now value is a array of size phi of type integer and the values in that contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So value of 0 or the first element will be 1 and the last element will be 5 with index 4. Now I want to print the element of this array val. How to print, uh, how to do that? Say I will write a for loop 
I will start with from i is equal to 0, i less than, now my size of array is 5. So I will write i less than 5, so the loop will go from 0 to 4, i plus plus and printf at say index percentage d value is percentage d slash n to go to next line and I have to print index so i and val of i this should print and it's always a good practice to use braces for any loop now in this example my for loop was containing a single statement so I might have skipped the braces but it's always a good practice and I have used a variable so I will declare the variable int i let's save the program let's quit and try to compile the program gcc array.c my program has got compiled and let's try to run the program yes and it is giving me output at index 0 value is 1 at index 1 value is 2 and at index 4 value is 5 and so on now comes the important thing in this program I have hard coded the index as 5 it's a very bad practice it's a bad programming practice you should not hard code it to 5 why because tomorrow if I wish to extend this array if I wish to add another 20 elements in this array I will just go ahead and add 20 elements no I will have to check all the instances where this array is getting accessed and manually go and change these i less than 5 to i less than 20 so that's certainly not a good thing rather than that I can use size of operator so I can use something like size of val size of val will be 5 divided by size of integer my current array is of type integer so let's give some proper brackets so my loop is now i is equal to 0 i less than size of val divided by size of integer i plus plus now in this example as well the value will be calculated as phi only so let's go ahead and save the program compile it again and run it again yes the output is exactly the same but now in this program I can simply go ahead and increase this statement add any number of values and my program will still work another important thing to remember the compilers most of the compilers will not check the array bounds so if here in this statement instead of writing size of val divided by size of int I would have simply written say i, I is equal to 0 i less than 100 i plus plus and i had done some operation on val val of i then compiler will go ahead silently and compile the program at runtime as well most of the uh, compilers won't raise any errors and my program will happily end with accessing some garbage location accessing some garbage values and giving me some wrong answers so while accessing array you must take care to use size of operators or such operators so that you are not hard coding any uh, any indexes indices so that you are not accessing some uninitialized or unknown memory locations now in the above example i have defined a single dimensional one di one dimensional array i can also define multiple dimensional array in c language so if I want to define a two dimensional array, how to define that? Say 2D array, I have to give two indices. Okay, so size say 2, 3. So now 2D array is a 2 by 3 array where first index is a row, number of rows and second index is number of columns. Now specifying number of columns is mandatory. Specifying number of rows if you are initializing the array straight away then the C language C compiler will probably go ahead and find out how many rows are required and it will assign that many rows in that array but number of columns is must now similarly if I want to initialize it right away how to initialize that there are two rows so I and three columns so one two three probably give a 
comma all these things are just to have a readable code otherwise they are not mandatory and so this is a two dimensional array how to access two dimensional arrays and what cares have to be taken while programming on two dimensional or multi dimensional arrays i'll be creating separate videos let's not talk about two dimensional array in this arrays basics video another thing c does not have any string operators directly so all the strings are character arrays with slash zero or null element at the end of the array now how exactly that strings and character arrays work again i'll be creating a separate video on strings you can go ahead and watch that video on strings to know about character arrays or strings handling in c let's stop here for arrays video and you are let's pause here for arrays basics video feel free to look at other c programming and hacking wireless and wired hacking videos on securitytube.net thank you